<clears throat> hey guys, uh, Adrian here. Um, I don't know if it's weird that I'm just sitting here in the back of my van talking to you guys. Um, actually, I have my notes there for another video. But I kind of wanted to do this one instead. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen what I'm going to talk about. Uh, but that story will be later on in the video. I'll get to that to that later on. Um, but yeah, the one thing that I hate about the HVAC trade, the one thing, uh, is other techs. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me let me explain. Uh, other techs who talk down on you um on you or your work or any of that stuff because uh i believe we're all here and we can help each other uh if you're an older tech or more experienced tech or whatever however long you've been in here you can help out the new guys the next guys you know tips tricks how to do something the right way if they're doing it the wrong way and and I don't mind that either. I'll take criticism any day, and uh, I'll take it as advice. As long as it's done, you know, the right way, the constructive criticism. And um, yeah, if you tell me something, I'll try and be better on the next one, you know. And in this trade, you're always learning. Like it's nonstop, and there's so many different trades you can get into once you are into, you know, you want to get into HVAC or refrigeration. Uh, there's supermarkets, there's residential, there's commercial, light commercial, like kitchen refrigeration is what I do. So that like you'll see me and I do most, mostly repairs. I'm not like a, a salesman, I'm not a install guy. So if you see my work, it's going to be like repairs, patches, just like getting the unit going whatever parts I need not I can't like rip out everything and give them a whole new line set a whole new unit or anything like that like they want me to fix it that's what I'm there for and that's what they pay me for that's what they rely on me for so yeah I mean you can do industrial chillers uh, heavy commercial like stuff over 20 tons 25 tons you know, there's a bunch of stuff, and that's the great thing about this trade. You can do anything you want. But yeah, if you're going to be that seasoned tech, you know, the tech that, that helps out or that tells other people how to do stuff, do it the right way. You know, you can point out what you see wrong with uh, some other guy's stuff, and you can tell them that's not how you should be doing it. You should be doing it like this. Or if you're at a company and you see some young guys or anybody struggling, you take them under your wing and you help them out. Show them the right way to do stuff, because that's where you learn most of your stuff is is on the on the job on site. Um, I went to school. Uh, luckily, I had a, a college that had HVAC, so I learned a lot because it was two years, really a year and a half, because you got to get your basics first. I learned a lot from instructors in school, like in the books, and then we had a lot of hands-on. So I I got a good amount of of stuff under my belt before I went out and um, but you learn way more in the field and you're gonna screw up a whole bunch of times and you're gonna do stuff the wrong way a lot of the time they don't teach you everything in school um, you're gonna learn a majority of the stuff on in the field and that's where if somebody can help you out that's a big deal uh, if somebody's gonna make fun of you and trash talk you the whole time that ain't gonna do it uh, if you work for a company and they're not helpful uh, and they're not showing you how to do stuff you need to find another company and with HVAC you can always find a job that's never that's never gonna be an issue um, there's always 
a job in HVAC or refrigeration. So just remember that. And I mean, it all depends on your area. Uh, like my area is very competitive. We don't, there's not a lot of people that help each other here. Um, it could be like job security. But I do have like a few people that I can talk to and whatnot. If I ever have like some questions on anything. Uh, but for the most part, I'll try and figure it out myself or I look it up. Uh, I mean, you can't rely on somebody to help you all the time. So just going online and reading, looking up manuals and stuff like that, looking up YouTube uh, can go a long way. And uh, as far as, as what happened to me, which is why I'm doing this video, is over on Instagram. I've never had issues. People always uh, compliment my work and stuff. Uh, and I'm not afraid to show like what I'm working on. I know it's not perfect, but uh, regardless, it's my work. I'm putting it out there. So yeah, there's a difference between like constructive crit criticism and like just plain out trash talking or bashing. And that's another thing, like I don't want young guys to be afraid uh, or like embarrassed of their work because people are going to criticize, like it shouldn't be like that. Uh, your work is, is, yeah, it's it's a reflection of you, but you grow as you do more, you know. I had posted about uh, evaporator coil that I did. I only did the evaporator coil. I could not touch the top, the condenser. Uh, I could not touch the line set. I could not touch the penetration. Could not uh, redo the electrical. I couldn't do any of that. They just wanted the coil. This was like years in the making. They barely even wanted to buy the coil. So I can't go out there and charge an arm and a leg because they won't do it. So around here I do a lot of repairs and, and patches like I said. So I was just showing uh, some bending that I did. And um, it was on me that I didn't have straps on the, on the lines to secure them. Uh, I had the drain line hanging there, the strap for it. I just didn't get, I didn't, I couldn't do it because I didn't have the stuff on me and then I took the picture just to post it. But yeah, one of the guys was, was all right. He, he just mentioned that I should have put a P-trap uh, and then straps. But in my area, that's still new to me. Nobody here P-traps, uh, they're section lines. And I mentioned to him, like, I do want to start doing that on the new stuff that we install. But I've known f about it for a while, like, I've read up on it. I had just never seen it before because, like I said, in my field, there are no P-traps. Uh, not unless, because we just recently got some, another chain, a uh, uh, nationwide chain. And they're in these huge plazas and the line set is extremely long and they have P-traps. So that's where I've seen it recently. But I don't see it because nobody, you know, nobody here has them. And the line sets are so short. Uh, I guess they just skipped it because usually we we deal with small walk-ins and the condensers like right outside um, so yeah that was fine I told them that I mean that's fine I it's something I want to start doing and that was okay and but he tagged somebody else uh, in the comments and that guy went over and he said that's nice and then he said something in another language, which I at first thought maybe he's complimenting me. I'm not sure the way he worded it, but the word he put in another language was garbage. So I was like, all right, like I can look it up. I mean, you can look up anything now. So I, I, I looked it up and I'm like, all right, that's not a compliment. He's hating on my, uh, my work. Like I said, the first guy was fine. He gave me uh, some constructive criticism. Uh, but the second guy calling me garbage, I was like, I took offense to that. And it's not like my feelings were hurt or anything. I kind of laughed it off. I did, I didn't start anything with him. I didn't message him. I didn't bother talking back or anything. Uh, I, I did comment that I knew he was calling me garbage. And, um, I just shared the post to my story so that I could, you know, write on there, you know, don't hate, educate, which is something uh, some other guys have told me recently and we're sharing about um, 
you know, helping other techs out and that they see a lot of techs getting uh, made fun of or bashed on. And then this happened to me. So, yeah, I, I didn't, I guess I didn't like that I shared it, but I wasn't like trying to call them out or anything. Um, the comments are public. People did, you know, kind of come in and defend me a little bit. Um, a lot of other guys were, were saying I did good work. And, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, I know my stuff's not perfect, and if you tell me what I did wrong or what I could have done uh, better, I will do it. On I will do it afterwards or do it, you know, the next time, and I'll know after that. Now these are two like bigger companies I think that were, uh, you know, giggling in my comments about me, and uh, both of them did kind of message me. Or one commented a couple times, the other one messaged me. Not really apologizing, but like telling me not to take it personal. And I was like, whatever, I don't care. Like, like you know, you posted it. I don't think I'm garbage. It is what it is. Um, but their way of apologizing, I guess, or whatever, was telling me, don't take it personal. Your installs are just really bad. And they're like, maybe we do just that much better of work. Uh, and our stuff is maybe just high quality or that's what we're used to. But I have to tell it how it is or whatever. So I was like, yeah, w you know, whatever, man. I, I wasn't going to like argue with them or fight with them or even tag them, put them on blast or anything. I didn't care. I, I just wanted to use that to tell people, you know, help everybody out. It's not really, like, it shouldn't be competition. Like, I don't even know these guys, and they're from, like, California. And, like I said, there's some big companies. I guess they do everything perfect. And, uh, but that's, that's my problem is when you start thinking you're better than everybody else. I hate that. And that's, you know, that's that thing that I hate about this trade is when somebody thinks that they're better than all the other techs, talk bad, and this and that. Now you now I understand if you are laughing with your buddies because you see like a mess you come up to a unit and it's like bypassed everything spliced wire nuts everywhere and you know I've, I've dealt with that stuff too and it's like you know you laugh about it but you don't go and like or I at least I don't go and try and find out who did this and talk bad about them and but yeah, that's that's the only annoying thing about this trade. I love everything else about it. It's fun. You get to go out, you know, driving, traveling everywhere. You're always working on something new. You always learn something. Uh, it's satisfying when you get machines working or when you do installs and you get everything going. All that's fun. So if you're if you're looking into getting a, into HVAC or refrigeration, you know, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a fantastic job. It's always in demand. People always need AC. And people always need stuff refrigerated, food. Uh, I do restaurants. There's always going to be restaurants, so I always have work. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, you know, it's whatever. If you guys ever see something I do wrong or you want me to do uh, or you got, like, recommendations, you know, you can always leave a comment. I don't care. I don't take it any... I don't take it personal. I don't like when I'm name-called or whatever, but... Um, some people are like that and you just got to ignore those guys there's always there will be guys that will help you out and there will be guys that are either on their high horse and they want to like crush everybody underneath them or they're jealous you know stuff happens uh drop a like or dislike whatever you prefer like i said i don't care uh you know subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys next time. We'll see if I get this other video done or if I do a... Uh, I have some stuff filmed. I need to edit. We'll see what comes out next. Hope you guys enjoyed.